Hi, this is Wolf with a quick demonstration of setting up the InShape uh, root system um, for creating a root and putting the resin out. Okay, so I'm going to create a root over here, which is going to be a fairly short one. Um, now, the first thing to note about the roots is that they should be circuits. Um, it needs to be a smooth transition as somebody goes around several mm -hmm. times um, while they're exercising. So I highly recommend putting a marker on the ground where you start your root. Um, I've put a little prim plate out on the ground there. So I'm going to go and stand on that, and that's where I'm going to start my root. Okay, now the reason for that we'll come back to when we finish the root um, in a minute. Uh, but all you need to do is wear the root maker. Make sure that you're standing, so this appears a little hud there. Um, make sure that you're standing on your starting point. Um, and then you just click it to start um, and start walking your route. So it's pretty simple. Um, it will support um, really long routes or you can make um, very short ones. Um, the longest I've tested it to is about 600 points over a six region route. Um, and it coped with that fine. I suspect it would do quite a bit more than that. but that's as much as I've tested it to. So we're just going to do a short route through the trees here. Um, just a pretty little area on the region here. Um, so we're going to make a nice short route. Um, try to keep um, your turns as smooth as possible. Um, sharp turns will be very disorienting for um, the exerciser because it will spin the camera around um, quite markedly. Um, so I'm going to walk around here. I've got property lines on here so I can see where the edge of the region is. It will do sim crossings without any problems, but um, I just want to do a short route here. So again, you can just see I'm sort of turning in little stages. So it keeps it, it actually looks more jerky as you're making it than it will do when you're actually traveling the route. But really sharp turns will be very disorienting for people. Okay, so you can see it's recording a number of points at the bottom there. So coming back to where we started, and you want to stop a little bit short Okay, and the reason for that is it will automatically cycle back to the start of the route again when you finish. Um, so if you if you make it off to one side or you overrun a little bit, it will jerk when it gets back around to start the lap again. Okay, so that's why we put the marker out and we stop just a little short of it. A meter or so is ideal. Okay, so we finished our route. We click this again. Um, it's now writing it to the note card, which takes five seconds. So there we go. Okay, and that's our root note card. Um, wait for that to load. It's not something that you can edit. Um, it's just full of sort of compressed coordinates and um, a little bit of header information at the start there. But that's what's inside the note card. We can call the note card whatever we want to. So I'm going to call this one test three. Okay, our next step is to put out a reser for this. Okay, so we can detach our root maker HUD now, and we can pull out an InShape Reser. Okay, so what we want to do is put this somewhere near our root start. So I'm going to move that closer to this, and we're going to turn it around so that the sign is facing the root. Okay, now we can take our note card and drop that into the reser and that's it we can get rid of our little marker on the ground now because we don't need that and line that up a little bit better so anybody that wants to run this route and has got the InShape app can just come along um, and click this to res the exercise device okay so that's sitting there ready to head off on its first leg so all you need to do is just click that to sit on it Okay, so that's playing around with our camera for us. <laughs> Doesn't normally swing out that much, but um, now what we've got in the pack is a tester. Now I've got the InShape app on a mobile phone and I've got um, an exercise bike, but for the purposes of this I want to show you how to use the tester to test your route if you don't have the application or you just want to see how it works. Okay, so this just lets you choose different exercises. Um, walk and run are the only ones we really need at the moment. There will be other routes, water routes and that sort of thing coming along later. Um, so what we do is just make sure that we're on walk and then we click 1 to start us moving at that speed. So I'm not doing anything at this point. 
um, just walking the route. Um, I'm going to choose to walk a little bit faster. And test the route at different speeds. Okay. It's not so easy to tell when we're looking at ourselves from behind, um, especially since the camera is smoothing all of the movements, not only the rotations, but sort of acceleration and deceleration get smoothed. So it's harder to tell that you're walking at faster speeds on this, but you are. Okay, if we go right the way up to level five on walk, that will actually be the equivalent of the first level of running. Okay, so it's following that route for us. I'm not pressing any keys here. And this is what the application does. Um, the harder people exercise, um, the faster they follow that route. So I'm going to drop it back down to three again. And then I'm going to change the exercise type to run. So that you can see, here's our fastest level. This is why it was important to get those um, turns as smooth as possible. So you see it's seamlessly doing that transition to go around to the next lap. So this is quite a fast turn at this point. So you'll actually see that it's it's smoothed it as well as it can. But we made some turns that are quite sharp at this speed. And that's what you have to allow for when you're making the route. Um, when you're walking it and making it, it may seem fairly smooth, but somebody could be running at full speed. Um, so too many corners are going to make them very, very dizzy. OK, and you can see, yep, just seamlessly going from point to point around that circuit at whatever speed you're exercising at. And it's really that simple. So let's stop ourselves. OK, and then we can just stand up from the device. It'll give you a chance to get back onto it. Um, but if you haven't done that within 20 seconds, it'll delete itself. OK, so it tidies up after itself. And it's really that simple. Um, very easy to set a route up. Um, the reservoir is very easy to use. And the route tester allows you to test the route even without the exercise app. So that's it. Set up your routes. Have fun. Um, and thank you for being part of InShape. All right. Bye.